Hey, good day. Paper of the week. There it is, just to prove it's the paper. Um, this one, uh, the vegans are going to love it. And there's a lot of really cool stuff about nature that I love about these sort of papers. Uh, what this paper here, oh, I better tell you what it is. Vegetable oils rich in alpha linolenic acid increment hepatic omega-3 long chain polyunsaturated fatty acid because I can't I, I thought that was easier to say than n through lycopuffer modulating the fatty acid metabolism and antioxidant response in rats um blah 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 it's a big weird title and a massive paper but what's really cool about it what it shows is you know how vegetable oil you know vegans or we're always told that you can't, you've got to take fish oil to get EPA DHA that the only way to get this EPA DHA oil is from fish oil. And that's why we always got to supplement in fish or krill. And if you're a vegan, you're just stuffed, okay? What the research is showing now is we are capable of converting the precursors, ALA or LA, into EPA DHA unless we've overloaded with EPA DHA. So basically by overloading the precursors from fish oil, it actually through backlogs the whole pathway and switches off the conversion of your vegetable oils all the way through to the one that you want. Now I've even studied things like chia oil um, and senchi, inchi, I don't know how to say that, but hopefully it's something like that, it's some um, South American oil. Um, it's, they're both very high in omega-3, like really high compared to other vegetable sources. They even found that those particular sources that are extremely high and out of balance with omega-3 quickly increase EPA DHA in the brain and that quickly shuts off the production of EPA DHA. Now, if you shut off the conversion of vegetable oils all the way through to EPA DHA, you're switching off all of the enzymes along the pathway. And by doing that, you're actually switching off arachidonic acid production, which is highly inflammatory. So they believe the way that the fish oils and that sort of stuff are very powerful anti-inflammatories is by backlogging the whole essential fatty acid pathway and as a byproduct of that, you don't get as much arachidonic acid, which is inflammatory. The cool thing about this paper, it shows the better way to do it is to have a big variety of oils from nuts and seeds and other vegetable sources and allowing the body to convert it through naturally into the EPA, DHA, the final products that are powerful anti-inflammatories. Because if you do it gradually and easily, all along the way, every time these oils convert into something else, they've got another benefit, they modulate PPAR receptors, and they have the ability to modulate and switch between each other depending on what your body needs. If you go through and blast the end result, it backlogs the whole pathway, your body loses control. Um, so the good news is, is vegetable oils are fine. Big variety of good oils from your diet, you don't need to suck the juice out of a fish if you don't want to. If you want to, do it. That'll do. Paper of the week.